Alright guys, welcome to your, I don't even know a number tutorial this is, I think it's like 28th or something. I actually just got done making this video and the next video, and then I look down and my mic is on mute. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? So, this is actually my 30th video, but I just deleted everything and now I have to do it all again. Son of a B. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is taking the user's information, entering them into a temporary database, and sending them a confirmation email. Now once they click that email, eventually it's going to go from the temporary database to the permanent database, but that is not the aspect of this tutorial. We don't have to worry about that for now. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to check if the email and the username is already taken. So how do we do this? Well we need to query the database and check if, well you'll see. So let's go ahead and make a variable and I'm just going to name it result and we set this equal to a my SQL underscore query now the query for this is actually before I even type the query which is gonna go right here I'm just gonna go ahead and add or die and is the die my SQL underscore error just for housekeeping stuff so if for some reason maybe uh, we type something wrong in the query then it's just gonna output the error but hopefully we won't even have to worry about that so here's the query what we're going to do is we're going to query the users table. Now remember the users table is all the users information for the website. And we're going to check does anyone have the email or username that this user wants already registered? If so, of course you can't steal it from them. If someone uh if you know I wanted to register the new Boston and someone has that username, I can't steal it from them. So in order to do that, let's just go ahead and write select all from users where email is equal to e the email that they entered in the form or username is equal to the username that they wanted so if this query returns any results then that means hey someone already is registered with that information so what we want to do is we want to see how many rows this returns and hopefully it's zero so in order to um, count the number of rows through PHP, this is how you do it. I'm just going to go ahead and make a simple if statement. You use a function called mySQL underscore num underscore rows. Now what this function does is it takes a result set like this, which is pretty much a mySQL query, and it returns the number of rows. So if no one else had this username or this email then this is gonna go ahead and return zero so that's what we want to test we want to make sure it returns zero now if it does then that's good because then it's available we can continue with the registration par process but if not then that means that someone else must already have that username or email registered so in that case what I want to do is I want to redirect the user to a different page now this page is just gonna say hey listen dude someone has the information already you can't steal it from them so in order to do that header and as the header header basically redirects you location and the location of this is prompt.php and we'll make this page later on it's the easiest page ever and set x equal to two. what prompt does just real quick is it basically grabs a number and depending on what number it gives you uh, a message so this one would say something like hey that uh, email or username has already been registered for the site please try to register again however if the username or email is not available then what do we want to do well the very first thing I want to do is I want to make an activation code now what this is is just a random code that gets thrown into the database because whenever we verify and you'll see later on on activation.php we need to make sure the code matches up with the users information so activation and set this equal to the code is basically gonna look something like that but instead of just typing random crap every time we're gonna use methods or functions from PHP to generate random strings so the first thing is MD5 and what this does is it generates a 32 digit random string however I want to go ahead and um, add some values in here to make it even more to randomize it even more the first thing I want to do is put UNIQ 
ID, unique ID, and what this does is it seeds it through time. And if you guys don't know about seeding, then don't even worry about it. This pretty much just makes it more random. And it takes two parameters, random number and true. So this is a very complex way of generating a 32 digit random string of random letters and numbers. So now what I want to do, now that I have the activation code, I'm actually going to go ahead and copy this, but I'm actually going to name it result2, and of course we want a different query. So now that we verified that that information is not yet taken, what we need to do is we need to enter their information into a temporary database because they haven't confirmed through email yet so we can't put them in their users one so they need to go into a temporary table so how do we take this information that they entered in form and stick it into a temporary table well just write insert into and then write the table name which is temp users I got pretty creative with that one and now you write the name of the columns that you want to enter so user ID and I actually don't need space username email password make sure I don't spell that wrong activation so we're basically entering five different pieces of information into this temporary table user ID username email password and activation so it says okay these are the pieces of information you want to enter where's the information well in order to the hold on next thing hit caps lock write values and now give the values that you want to enter so the first one is actually blank because if you look at the database that you guys downloaded user ID gets auto incremented so whenever you have something that gets auto incremented and you wanna fill it in through PHP just add empty nothing at all and uh, MySQL is gonna take care of it the next thing is let me just go ahead and cheat real quick one two three four okay the next piece of information is username and that is just whatever username they entered into that form remember we stored it in a variable up top and the next one is the email that they entered and password and activation variable.